Hello, my name is Maggie. Today is Halloween, so happy Halloween! I'm doing the Halloween book tag, so let's get into it. Uh, number one, Halloween Town. Name a fictional place you wish were real. Besides Hogwarts, um, as I mentioned Harry Potter every fucking video, um, I'm going to go with Camp Half-Blood with Percy Jackson and Annabeth Chase. So, yeah, I'm going with that. So, anyway, um, number two, Marnie, name a book about witches. Besides Harry Potter, <laughs> like really, um, I'm, go I'm going with The Witches by Ro Roald Dahl, so, yeah. Um, I read this, I think, maybe, I want to say between two and four years ago, I forget now, I'll have to look at my Goodreads, um, but yeah, I read this book, and it took me a couple of months to actually read, but I liked it either way, um, but yeah, the same with Percy Jackson and all these books, so, um, number three, Sophie, name a book of... Name of your favorite middle grade book, besides Harry Potter and Percy Jackson. Um, I'm going to go with A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. So, I didn't even read this as a child, but, or even Percy Jackson for that matter. But, I literally loved the movie first because I didn't want to read 13 books because I wasn't, an, like, a book nerd back then. So, yeah, anyway. Um, uh, number four, Dylan, name a book with a magical school. Do I really have to explain? Like, really? Um, number five, Grandma Aggie, name a book that helps you escape into a brand new world. Um, I didn't really have an answer for this other than Harry Potter, so, yeah. Um, uh, number six, Calabar, name your favorite villain. Um, well, there's Count Olaf, and actually, I don't have it on me, but definitely President Snow, President Snow, and also Umbridge from Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Um, but yeah, uh, number seven, Benny, name a book that always is there for you to get out of a hard time. Um, besides... Harry Potter, um, I'm gonna go with The Perks of Being a Wallflower, um, I haven't even reread this, so, I've only read it once, <laughs> don't at me, but I, I will reread it again, it's been about six years now, I think, since I've actually read this book, so, hopefully I'll actually read it, so, anyway, um, number eight, Luke, name a character with a hard exterior, um, but soft on the inside. Actually, I was gonna put Ron for this, but I think Snape is really kind of a bit of a softie. Um, but yeah, if you disagree with me, okay. Um, if you agree, great, whatever. So, yeah. Um, number nine, Cal. N uh, name your favorite guilty pleasure. Um, actually, since I was a little girl, I actually loved this show slash book that I, I've, I've literally just loved it ever since. And, yeah, I am going to go with Madeline. I've always loved this book. Not this particular book, but I've always loved Madeline and whatever, so... One of my guilty pleasures, I guess. <laughs> um, number ten, name a book that you love to, that you forget to talk about. Um, I actually have two for this. Um, but I'm gonna get them right now. Hold on one second. Um, I feel like nobody really talks about them enough. And or has either that or has never heard of them before. So I'm gonna go with any... Elizabeth Chandler book. This one is called Kiss by an Angel. Um, this has the first three books in this. Um, but yeah, this book needs to be a little more hyped than it should be, than it is. <laughs> um, and I'm also going to talk about, um, The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. This was actually one of our first series, 
by herself that I've read. I have yet to read this last book for her, To All the Boys of Love Before trilogy. But, um, yeah, I always kind of forget to talk about this because this is the first Jenny Han book that I've actually read ever read. So, yeah, anyway. Um, number 11, Ethan. Uh, name a character you'd love to go on a romantic broom ride with. Um, I'm gonna have to say... Anyone from Hufflepuff slash Cedric Diggory. So, you're welcome. <laughs> um, and last question. Natalie, name a character who is proud of who they are. Um, I didn't really think of an answer for this, but I guess I'm going to go with Patrick from The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Not really at first, but, you know, like, if you've read the book, you know, so. But yeah, um, that's it for the tag. Um, hope you have a good Halloween and safe rest of the year during the world's pandemic. So, that's it. I will see you soon with another new video. Goodbye.